Fister. There you go. Oh. Oh, hey. It's the video diary. Hey, it's uh, Dan Fister. It's young Dan, the adopted son. Um, I'm here checking out the, uh, the the digs that one time I was I was uh, presented with and promised. But now apparently. No, you were presented with an offer. I was presented with an offer, correct. But apparently, apparently now it's turned into some kind of timeshare offer, in which I have to pay. But I think it's going to be pennies no, on the dollar. No, you got you you get what you pay for is what you get. So. Well, here's the here's the situation. It's supposed to be a timeshare thing. I was here. I was lured here, uh, thinking that it was free, and uh, it really turns out to be a. It's going to be a timeshare presentation. Put no, on this. Put on if you want a major thing. holiday, you got to pay. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think that's been decided yet. If it's a timeshare, I think I get to have it whenever I want it as well, don't well, I? Well, how about first time free? You get a little taste. First time free, I think that's tonight. Is it? <laughs> that's I'm not tonight. paying tonight, am I? No, no, you're not paying. Okay, then I think that's, no, this is uh, all that's free. part of the deal. Um, you brought bratwurst, so you're good. Yeah, but I'm supposed to get a free gift. Hey, do you want a shot of Jägermeister? Well, I would love a shot of Jägermeister. Is that part of the timeshare? No, no, that's free, you too. Know, it's free, too? It's free, too. So it's not like a, a, a bar I have to pay. It's no, no, you're those, good. You're all good. One of those bars I have Look to at there, Scotty. For. Scotty! So, yeah, I'm glad to be here. And I understand I get to take a portion of the house with me as part of the, as part of the deal. What do you, the take the bedroom? I was going to... Take the deck. I was going to take the deck itself. I was going to unscrew all that that metal deck and uh, you know build a trailer with it. Yeah, yeah. that's not a bad that's idea. What it is. It looks like all right, listen. Here's like, the story. Yo. Here's what we do. Yeah. We get you a beer. Yo. We get you a shot of Jägermeister. Yeah. Then we take a little wagon tractor tour of the property. Right, and then let's get let's get all these guys and and get this uh, this uh, deck down. So I can build myself a nice trailer back in Aurora. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Scotty. Jeez. Scotty! Oh, you guys Scotty. finally found it. Gentlemen. That's Scotty. That's you it. Want yes, and I, he's got lost, I got lost in Rockford. Thank you very much. Yeah, we well, went four wheeling in, in Brett's uh, Jeep. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, that's what you were we'll show you the vi We'll show you the video later. Do you know what I thought this was? I thought this was a wine shooter. I thought this was a bottle of wine. <laughs> no, put no. your mouth on that. Yeah, put your mouth on there. Who wants to do a shot of wine? <laughs> I don't know. You know, who thought this would be a cabin? You know? Who knows how these people live? <laughs> that's, why I want, that's why I want in. Wine shooters. Okay? Alright, tell Story Senior that you're you're all in. Story Senior, wine shooter, okay? I'm all in. This is a great idea. Rock on. Rock on, man. Tape the story and then make a and then make a movie out of it. And then make a movie out of it. So He's in, his, he's in his bar, okay? He's with his client. His client leaves because they're getting so drunk. So he's there. He said he was approached by some people and they're having a good time. It's just kind of a random, random people having a great time. And he's getting wasted. And then all of a sudden he feels like he's going to pass out. And he remembers somebody like whispering to him, What's your passcode? What's your passcode? What's your passcode? No yeah. I woke up in the bathroom and I passed a couple of ice. No, then all of a sudden, yeah, really. Then all of a sudden, all he remembers is a fight breaking out, and that he was like being pushed around and whatnot. And then uh, police showed up, and he remembers that. And, remember, and they woke up in jail like two hours later. Wow. Waking later. up in jail, huh? In jail, completely just a shuffle. Had no idea what had happened. Was it you? <laughs> <laughs> no, this when is you not, say my this friend, is do you really mean you? <laughs> So what do you guys, uh, what do you think I should do about this? Should I get an attorney? I mean, what do you think my uh, brother-in-law should do about this? <laughs> Did he get totally ripped off then? So listen to what happened. So, so he's supposed to be picking up his daughter like the next day after school. He's supposed to have plenty of time to do that. He doesn't show up, so everybody wonders where he is. For whatever reason, he's still in jail and hasn't contacted anybody. And he's been in jail now for like 24 hours. Okay? Then, when he gets out of jail, his wife bails him out. Apparently his wife has to bail him out. I don't know why he didn't bail himself out. His wife, my sister-in-law, bails him out. And they go and they go to their uh, balance. And $3,000 exactly is taken out of his account. Yeah. No more, no less. $3,000. Okay? $3,000 is a good round number. Yeah. It applies to, you know, multiple things. 